Alrighty guys, save your banana peels. Saturday, May 29th is National Learn About Composting Day. Despite the fact that 30% of household waste is compostable, Americans dispose of an astounding 167 million tons of garbage each year. Tanya Castaneda, Sustainability Ambassador for Republic Services is joining us live now. And Tanya, tell us what does it mean to compost and what are the benefits? Well, composting is nature's way of recycling organics. In nature, food scraps and yard trimmings actually become nutrients for our ecosystem and for your home garden. By recycling food scraps, you can reduce your impact on the environment, you can help your wallet, and you can grow great tomatoes. Uh, okay, awesome. <laughs> we all love tomatoes. Well, I know I do. <laughs> so, Tanya, what happens uh, to those food scraps that we don't compost? food scraps that you don't compost, well, it's important that you do compost because it's such a wonderful process. It brings nutrients back to your soil. What happens during that process is that the food scraps break down, it essentially cooks itself, and it turns into free fertilizer that's just as good, if not better, than store-bought compost. It's a great solution to bring nutrients back to your home garden without any chemicals. Okay, so Tanya, that sounds great. Tell us, um Tell us how to do this, Tanya. How do you do it the right way? What are some of the best practices? A great thing to do is to just get started collecting them in a small container just like this while you're in your kitchen, while you're cooking. You can start adding coffee grounds in there, tea bags, fruit and vegetable peelings. This banana peel, like you said earlier, is amazing. It's got a lot of potassium. Eggshells are great because they add calcium to your compost. Stay away from meats, fats, and dairy products. When you have all of your uh, wet items collected, we can call them wet, then add some dry items in there like dry dead leaves, even dry paper bags that are dirty, and this egg carton made out of paper, perfect dry material to put in your compost pile. Once you're done mixing it together, put it in your compost bin outside and let nature do the job. Okay, awesome. So that sounds pretty easy to do. You just have to remember to do it. Now, what if you live in an apartment? Where can we store this, this uh, where can we store this all in a safe place, in a good place? Start small. You don't need a big yard to get started. There's different types of compost bins, small, large ones. Sometimes there's one with a wheel for you, could, for you to turn it. There's even different composting methods. Go to republicservices.com slash sustainability to learn more about all the different types of composting and how to reduce your environmental footprint. Awesome, Tanya. Thank you so much for joining us with that very important information and interesting information. If you guys would like to see this interview again, you can visit our websites, fox2now.com or kplr11.com.